Hi cuties! Don't mind the pimples that are growing larger and larger on my forehead. If you have skin, you know the struggle. Anyway, today is not about my pimply forehead. No. Although I'm sure you guys would love to hear more about that. Today, I am going to tackle one of the largest struggles of being your own nail tech, your own nail artist. And that is the struggle of painting beautiful nail art with your non-dominant hand. Because yes, of course, it's easy to paint cute, nice nail art with your dominant hand, but if you're not ambidextrous like the most of us are not, then doing beautiful nail art with your non-dominant hand on your dominant hand is a struggle. It's a struggle. And I realized this when Sovelin sent me a large set of gel polishes to try out for you guys which I'm super excited about, but I was like, well, I already have my left hand done and I don't want to take these nails off because they're cute and I like them. I can't escape the sound of the gardeners using a leaf blower. Why is it so loud? Anyway, so yeah, I got a set of gel polishes sent to me by Sovaland, which I'm super thankful about and I'm super excited to use these and try them for you guys because one of my favorite things about getting gel polishes from these brands from Amazon, which are super affordable and doing nail art for you guys with it, is I really want to show you guys that you don't need fancy expensive gel liner art special gels to make cute nail art okay like you don't okay you just need practice that's all you need and yes of course like maybe the more expensive ones will make it look maybe a little bit more i don't know refined or something but i honestly think that you can get just like cute nail art without spending an arm and a leg that's why i love when they send me stuff and i'm so thankful for it but anyway, I wanted to go all out and do some cool nail art with these, but I was like, I don't want to take these nails off yet. And the only hand that I have free is my right hand. And that means I'm going to have to use my left hand to do my right hand. And I am right hand dominant, so that's not going to be fun. But then I was thinking, I was thinking. And I recently made that video where I tried the lazy girl method with acrylic and I was literally amazed by it because I've never seen anyone do the lazy girl method with acrylic. I know Femi Beauty is like the queen of the lazy girl method, but I never realized she did it with acrylic. I guess that's just my bad. I guess it's just not very popular to do it with acrylic, but y'all were like, did. Like, Femi Beauty has already done this. And I was like, yeah, I know, I know, I realized that. I just wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to show you guys. So basically, if someone's already done this, then cool. But like, I just thought of it. And just my goal is to share what I learned with you guys so that you guys can also have stunning ass freaking cute nails and feel like a cutie like a badass cutie with your fire ass nails. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so I think I thought of a method to do beautiful, perfect nail art on your non-dominant hand. I mean like do perfect nail art with your non. I think I found a method to do perfect nail art with your non-dominant hand, okay? I put that in air quotes because let me show you what I thought of, okay? Let's explore this idea together, together and let's live a life with beautiful nail art on both of our hands because we are strong, independent cuties who can do beautiful nail art on our own hands without help from no one. I mean, if you need help, that's fine too. It's always great to ask for help. You should always ask for help if you need it. You're still strong, you're still a cutie, and you're still independent. Just because you need help doesn't mean anything. So, sorry, I haven't eaten anything today and I've had a bit of coffee. I'm gonna try to stop rambling and we're just gonna get into this. Also, look at this cute sweater that I got. Beauty and the Beast. Let me just say that Ross is underrated and I freaking love Ross and I am not ashamed that maybe like half of my wardrobe is from Ross, okay? So, all right, let's get in. Let, let's, let's do some epic nail art. Okay, but before we get into the nail art, I'm actually going to swatch all of these so that I can actually see what we're working with. And I'm gonna do it on camera because I personally think that it's really satisfying to watch swatches, but there are a lot of colors. So if you're not interested, you can skip. There's chapters, nice. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the full set of colors swatched. They are so pretty. I literally cannot believe how pretty this pink is, how pretty this shimmery blue is, how pretty this green is, how amazing this orange is. Oh, and this pink. That one's really nice too. Yo, these are so pretty. I feel like it's such a good set to get if you just want to do like some nail art because it has like a very comprehensive, is that what the word that you would say? It like spans the rainbow really well. Like there's a good primary red, there's a good primary yellow, there's a good primary blue, and then you've got like a bunch of different things in between. It has all the colors that you would need, I feel like, including a white and a black. I will have this set linked down below. I do have a code with Sava Land. This whole set on Amazon goes for like $27, and if you catch it like when there's a sale or something, I'm sure you could get it for even less than that, but come on now, $27 for all of these beautiful colors like literally all the colors that you need is not too shabby and like i said i do have a code with them my code is just ann elizabeth in all caps and that will get you 20 percent off but i'm actually not too sure if that code is only for like their main website or if it also works on amazon but i think that if it's a better price to get it off of amazon then you should totally just get it off of amazon so yeah now we're gonna do some epic nail art with my non-dom hand but i was trying to think of what what I wanted to do with these colors and since all of these colors are so pretty I literally could not make up my mind I want to be able to like use a lot of the colors I was kind of debating between Shrek Coraline and Care Bears and I think I'm gonna go with Care Bears for today but I probably will get around to doing both Shrek and Coraline in the future so don't worry let's get into the nail art Let let's do it let's do it Okay, so you know how I said I had an amazing idea for how to do epic, perfect nail art with your non-dom hand? Well, let me explain. So basically, I think that the trick is to use the lazy girl method and to do the nail art on full cover tips on press-on stands and then use the lazy girl method with acrylic. And this is the key. You have to use acrylic because if you try using poly gel and you already have nail art drawn on the tips, then the poly gel is not gonna cure fully. So if you do the nail art on the full cover tips and then use acrylic to put them on your nails, like I did in the lazy girl method with acrylic video, I think that this could be absolutely perfect and that we can have a full set, both hands done with super cute nail art and acrylic and nobody will even ever know that we used the lazy girl method. So let's find out and see, shall we? So I'm just gonna size these out real quick and I'm going to size them out a little bit bigger and I'm going to size them out bigger than my actual nail because I want to leave a lot of room for the acrylic. And let me just say these tips run really big because even the smallest size is big on my nail. Okay, since I sized them out a little bit bigger, they don't fit like at my cuticle area. They're a little too square for my cuticles. So I'm just gonna take my file and kind of customize the cuticle area a little bit so that they fit better. Also, these tips are going to be perfect for this method because they are so thin. Like, can you tell? Like, they're super bendy. I don't think I would use these tips with just like a gel manicure over them because they're like super flimsy, but they will be perfect for our purposes today. <laughs> Now we can start with the nail art. So I'm going to work on these just one at a time. And sometimes people ask what I use to stick my nails onto the stands. Usually I do mention it, but I use these little glue dots and I found them on Amazon. If you just search up glue dots on Amazon, they should come up pretty quick, but I can also link them in the description. And if I forget to do that, just, you know, give me a little comment and tell me like, hey, yo, you forgot. Cause that's something I do often, I forget. Alrighty, there we go. And I'm just gonna prep it by buffing it real quick. And I'm gonna put on the base coat. So 
So I'm going to pop up the reference that I'm going to be using for these sets like right here. And I decided for this Care Bear set that I was going to go for the more like contemporary style of Care Bear, the one that like presently they're kind of advertising. So for the thumb, I think I'm going to do the rainbow, but I'm going to do the rainbow how it is. I'm going to do the rainbow following how it is in the reference. So starting with purple and going down to pink. Also, when I do these nails, I'm going to be leaving the back clear because I want to use my glitter acrylic to put them on. So basically I'm just going to do the nail art part and then when I put them on I'll put like the acrylic and then like that glitter will show through the bottom. So I think I found the perfect colors for this rainbow in this set. Oh, I love these colors and I promise you I'm like not just trying to sell you on them because like they sent them to me or something. Like I genuinely really love these colors. Of course, I do really appreciate them sending me the gel, but you know, I'm just giving you my honest opinion over here. But let's put them to the test. I'm just gonna do a little rainbow on this nail and I'm gonna try to leave some room down at the bottom over here because I think I want to sculpt a little star. Also, I'm going to be using these liner brushes that I got from Shein again. And honestly, my only complaint about them is that the lids fall off so easily. It's really annoying. But other than that, they are great liner brushes. little rainbow. I think that's the best rainbow I've ever done. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so as I was saying before, I'm going to do a little star down here by the cuticle area and I'm going to sculpt it with my 4D UV gel. I'm going to be good and I'm going to use little fingertip glove things. So remember these fingertip glove things that I got? That looks kind of wrong. Don't get me wrong. Sorry. Don't think about it. I said stop thinking about it. Let's sculpt a star, all right? Let's sculpt a star. Okay, so now that it's cured, I'm gonna take my buffer again and I'm gonna buff it to just like smooth it out a little bit. Smooth, give it a good wipe. And now I'm just gonna like outline it in some light orange and paint the little face on it. So I'm done with the nail art for this one for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it just so that nothing happens to it while I work on the other ones. And then I'll probably end up coming back and top coating it again after I put them all on my fingers. Okay, so I went ahead and prepped this one, buffed it, base coat. So on this one, I'm gonna do a little yellow Care Bear.
All right, so here's the yellow Care Bear. Um, I'm sorry, I had to do most of that off camera because I was getting super frustrated trying to do it and keep it in frame at the same time. Some days are just harder than others, okay? And today is not an easy day. I am sorry if some of the nail art ends up being done off camera, but I'm gonna try my best to do it in frame for the rest of the video, especially because now I think I've got the hang of it. I think I can trust the process now. It was looking really ugly, so I started getting nervous, but then once I just got myself to finish it. It's looking pretty cute, I think. Also, the underneath is really like white like that because I wiped it off with alcohol a lot. We'll fix it when we like wipe it off with monomer or acetone or whatever. That gets rid of the white. Now I'm just gonna top coat this bad boy. And you've probably heard me say this before, but whenever I do nail art, I like going back and forth with the top coat because since I do so many different little layers, it just helps get in all those little crevices. So here's our first two little Care Bear nails. I think they're turning out really cute. I'm kind of noticing that the thumb one is so much longer than this one, which is kind of weird because they're all from the same set of full cover tips. So is that normal? Are they usually this much like of a size difference? Seems weird to me. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I made myself some more coffee. So hopefully I can do this underneath the camera this time and talk you guys through it without getting super frustrated. I think I was just getting very low on my caffeine intake, lol. First up, base coat. And on this next nail, I'm going to do the little blue, like sad, grumpy Care Bear. So the first step is to just outline the body and head of the bear in blue, just like a solid block of blue. Next, I go in with my black and I just like outline the ears and the head and kind of make it look less like just a blue blob and more like a bear. And now I'm gonna block out all the white, like the ears, the little snout, the little belly, the eyes, you know what I'm saying. And now I'm just gonna add all the rest of the little details. And here's our second Care Bear. I may have drawn it a little bigger than the first one. So its face is kind of like taking up more of the nail. Oop, I forgot one little detail. So we are gonna top coat this bad boy. Okay, for this next Care Bear, I'm gonna follow the exact same steps as I did with the last one, but I'm gonna do the pink Care Bear. So I'm just gonna speed through it real quick.
there's our last little Care Bear. She's so cute. I love them. I'm glad I went with this style of Care Bear. They may not be perfect but I think they're pretty dang good. And when people see this nail art on my like right hand, they're gonna be like, yo. Especially after I tell them that I did it myself. Even pull their leg and be like, yeah, I did it with my non-dominant hand, it's whatever. Cute! <laughs> I love these so much, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna tie these all together with a little rainbow for the pinky. Yeah, kind of like the thumb except I'm not gonna put a star. It's just gonna be a rainbow. A little simple pinky nail. Okay, so now we've got all of our nail art on and they're so cute. I'm actually so happy with how they turned out. I'm glad that I did this one in the middle bigger because I don't know, I kind of like how it sticks out as the one in the middle. So I'm not too mad about that. Ah, so let's put these bad boys. I keep saying bad boys, huh? I don't know why I feel like saying that today. Let's put them on my nails. Let's do it. Let's do it. So before I do that, I'm just gonna prep my nails. First, I'm going to buff them because I do have like a new layer of hard gel on them because my nails are pretty thin right now and I like to protect them from any filing and the constant changing of sets that I do. So I'm just gonna buff them really quick and I'm gonna dehydrate them and clean them with some 91% alcohol. And then just because I'm extra and I have it, I also like dehydrating them with some dehydrator. This step is kind of unnecessary, but you know, I just like to make sure there's absolutely no moisture on them. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting these on one by one. And the acrylic that I'm gonna use to put these on is actually the white that I made in my last video because I loved it so much and you guys loved it so much. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and name it right now because I didn't name it yet. And someone in the comments of that last video had an amazing recommendation for the name and I absolutely loved it. So here's the name. This one shall be Snow Fairy. And I'm gonna be using my teeny tiny size six brush to do this because I just don't wanna make a mess. So let me swatch this for you so you guys know what it looks like. I love it so much, it's so pretty. And I figured that a nice, just like kind of plain white glittery background would be perfect for these nails because there's already a lot of color in the nail art itself. So yeah, that's just like my thought process behind that. If you guys were wondering, not that you ask. So I am gonna go ahead and start off with a thumb. So let's just take her off of the stand. Try my best to get all the sticky stuff off. Perfect, cool. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prep this guy was just some primer. And you know what, this time I think I'm actually gonna do most of it on the stand. And then when I'm about to put it on my nail, I'll take it off the stand. So now we've got it on the stand the opposite way as it was before, so we can work on the underneath of it. And I'm just going to wipe this whole thing down with some primer. And then starting from the top and working my way down towards the bottom, I'm going to just start applying the acrylic as thin as possible. I do not want it to be too thick because one, bulky, and two, it, you just don't want it to be too thick. Just, it can get thick real quick. So just make sure you're doing it as thin as you can. Also, when you're doing this, make sure you're getting all the way up the sides of the nail as well. So once I've gotten all the way down here to the bottom of the nail, now I'm actually gonna take it off of the stand. I'm gonna take it off the stand before I put the bead down here because right when I put the bead, I wanna be able to put it on my nail. So for this part, I'm actually gonna use a much bigger brush. I'm gonna use my number 14. And before I put it on, I'm actually going to prime my nail with some primer and let that dry. And now I'm gonna get a big bead and I'm gonna try to make it not too dry. 
and I'm going to put it down here. Try to kind of push it up a little bit so that it doesn't flood out a bunch down at the cuticle. Wipe off your brush and then stick her on. And then hold it until she sets. And then before she sets all the way, we can kind of try to clean up the sides a little bit. But we can always go back in and file later, so it's fine. We are going to end up top coating it again, so don't worry about filing it. Just make sure you make sure that it's straight before it sets all the way. Okay, boom. So now it's on there cured enough that I think I can move on and nothing's gonna happen to it. And yay, I'm so happy. Look at that, so cute. Okay, let me just do the exact same thing to get the rest of these nails on because then I wanna add a few little charms. Okay, so now they're all on and they're looking so cute, but we are definitely not done with these because one, I have to do a bunch of filing because no matter how hard I tried, it still spilt out a bunch around the cuticles and sidewalls, unfortunately. And there's like this little air bubble right here, which is really annoying me. So I'm gonna end up going and putting rhinestones at the cuticles and a few other things. But first, let's just do some filing. Okay, so I actually also buffed them as well. I like buffed the top coat that was on them because I want to make sure that the top coat and the gems and everything that I put on now are going to stick. So cute so far. They feel strong and sturdy. I love these. So cute. Okay, so luckily Savaland also sent me some of their new rhinestone glue gel. But usually I just use my McCart rhinestone glue gel, so I'm excited to try this. It's always nice to have options. Okay, so we've got the glue gel. We've got a little white wax pencil crayon thing. And we've also got a pair of tweezers. I love me some tweezers. Okay, so first things first, I want to put rhinestones around all of these cuticles just to kind of hide like some of the air bubbles and such. And I was thinking of just using the AB rhinestones, but now I'm kind of feeling like it would be really cute if the color of the rhinestone matched like the nail. And I changed my mind again. I'm just gonna use the AB rhinestones. It is kind of like just a white colored pencil, so it does kind of leave a little bit of a smudge, but I'm sure we can wipe off that smudge after it's cured. Cute. 
cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick rhinestones on all the cuticles. Look at that little star. He's so cute. Okay, so now to finish these off, I'm just gonna like top coat it and at the same time stick a couple of these little Aurora hearts on there, just like in a few of the open spaces because I just love sticking little hearts in open spaces. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to put a dot of the rhinestone glue gel where I want to put the heart and then I'm gonna go with my top coat and I'm just going to top coat the whole nail and like go around the rhinestone glue gel. This way I won't have to like top coat it again and like struggle to go around the little heart charms. And then stick the little heart on there. Cute. Voila! So here are my cute little Care Bear nails with my non-dominant hand. And they're acrylic. These ain't no press-ons. These are acrylic with hand-drawn nail art on my dominant hand, meaning I had to have used my non-dominant hand. Although I actually cheated and did the lazy girl method with acrylic after drawing the nail art on press-on stands and I honestly feel so smart. No, but for real, these came out so adorable. I love them so much. Like, I'm gonna take so many pictures of these because I might actually cry when I have to chop them off. I hope this video helped all of you cuties out there who also do your own nails and really want to have two cute hands with hand-drawn nail art on them, but it's real difficult to do hand-drawn nail art with your non-dominant hand. I don't even bother trying to do it. So I hope that you can try this method and go out with super cute nail art on both of your hands and have people be in absolute awe of how cute your nails are. Oh, I can't get over how cute they look. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you could smash that like button, kick it into outer space, just to show me how much you love this video. I would really appreciate it. And for every subscriber I get, that's one more subscriber. So that's really epic and cool. And you could be one of those if you want to be extra special like that. As always, cuties, I hope you're having an amazing day and you are enjoying every single second of your beautiful life because it is precious. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.